Welcome, listeners, to another episode of the show. I am your host with the most, Chris Talks. Hope that you are having a beautiful day because I am definitely having a good one. So I hope that you're having a good one. Welcome to the show. All right, so uh, let's get into this episode's top story. Let's do it. Hit it. All right, so this episode is going to bring us to where? Uh, New York City. New York City again. Okay. New York City again. Okay. All right, so. A man caught smoking on the subway ends up with a murder rap. A man on a man caught on a subway ends up ends up with a murder rap. Wait, what? Really? All right, look, we're gonna let Sarah a uh, uh, take over and report the story, and then I'm gonna give y'all my view and my opinion as always. All right, uh, hit it. Let's get right into it. Hit it. Police arrested a Queens man wanted in a deadly 2020 stabbing after the alleged killer was caught brazenly smoking a cigarette in the subway. Police said Monday, Luis Hernandez, 36, of Maspeth, was picked up Friday by Brooklyn Transit cops who spotted him puffing away. Cops said, once in custody, authorities discovered that he was wanted for the February 9, 2020 slaying of Richard Hernandez, 21, in Astoria, and charged with murder gang assault and criminal possession of a weapon. Cops said, Luis Hernandez, 36, was busted for smoking in the subway when police connected him to a 2020 murder. Cops said, Google Maps, police could not confirm Monday morning whether the two men were related. The younger Hernandez was knifed repeatedly in an 8.40 p.m. attack at the corner of 36th Avenue and 31st Street. Police said, he was taken to Mount Sinai, Queens, where he was pronounced dead. The older Hernandez was charged with charged with murder, gang assault and criminal possession of a weapon. Cops said, Getty Images, the suspected knifeman, who has no prior arrests, was ordered held without bail during his arraignment. Online records show, three or four other people were still being sought Monday in connection to the fatal stabbing. The and the motive for the stabbing uh, remains unclear at this point. Wow. Like, really? Bruh. Seriously? Bruh. <sighs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, before I get further into this, uh, let me just hit this note real quick. If you like this content and want to hear more of it, you already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Uh, hit that notification button. And also... Send me some uh, some of them comments, all right? I definitely want to hear them comments. You know what I mean? Um, just hit that button. You know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button. It's a little thing to you, but it's a real big thing to me. And I really do appreciate when people do subscribe. So thank you very much. <laughs> to all my subscribers. I don't know. My nose feels a little, little stuff. It feels a little stuffy. Can we open a window or something? All right. Let's get into it. You know, all right, so let's get into this particular situation, this particular topic. Okay, now, this, let me tell you where this guy messed up. First, let's give uh, this guy a dummy buzzer for smoking in the subway, in a New York City subway. That's his first mistake. And that's just my opinion. This is my view and my opinion segment. Can we hit my horn again so we clear that we in a segment? All right. Let's make that clear. So, to me, this guy, he really, soon as he smoked that cigarette, he had messed up, in my opinion. He messed up. Now, the question here is this. Because, um, and I had, um, I was wondering this. Because of the how, how it went down. And uh, me and my people, we did try to find video on this. There is video floating out there on this particular situation. And that's 
another reason why I was going like it hit me like why did this guy think he was getting away with it if you are somebody who travels uh in the train if you're one of my listeners who travels and you are a new york city resident and you know how it goes on that train station you know how it goes in the train station you know there are cameras everywhere like the new york city train uh transit system they they they're being watched like banks like banks get watched like they get watched <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So they, they, there's cameras everywhere. So it's hard. It's really hard to get away with a crime. You know what I'm saying? So for him to sit there on the subway and think that he was going to get away with it, I don't know how that was just possible. And, and unless, and I'm just throwing it out there to my listeners, y'all know I, I play with a two-headed coin here. You know what I mean? So... Unless he didn't see the cops there, he went in there, he was smoking, he didn't see the cops there. You know, I mean, well, the cops came after he lit the cigarette, so he didn't see the cops there, and they just rolled up on him and and bagged him, you know? They just, they got him, bruh, you know? And, you know, I, I mean, let's applaud them. For doing their job. You know what I'm saying? We applaud anybody for doing their job. Even if we we don't um really like them. Bruh. I'm just saying. But anyway, um <laughs> anyway, uh it just so happened that they ran his name and he had to he happened to be wanted for murder. Now what we have found out here, me and my team have found out here, is that this situation, and we're looking for the video, right? We're still looking for the video. Is from what I've gathered from the situation is that it was a situation that happened very quick. This man was not stabbed uh, like 36 times or, uh, or anything like that. And this was something that had to place had took place probably a year prior. So one of the questions that I have is this, and all my listeners, you can comment on this question, is this, uh, one, did this man know he killed this man? That's one. Did he even know he killed this man? You know, because you stab somebody up, you're not going to stand there to wait to see if they, even if you shoot somebody, you know what I mean? Like, and I'm just keeping it real. Even if you shoot somebody, you're not really going to stand there to see if they're dead. Bruh. Because you don't know if they have another gun. You you don't know if they have a gun. So you're just going to let up whatever amount of shots you're going to let off and you're going you to run. You're going to keep it moving. Bruh. Same thing with the stabbing. So that's my question. Did this guy even know that this guy was that he had died from the stabbing. You know, that's, I'm just saying, that's my question. Did he even know that this guy died from the stabbing? I don't know. And also, he could have known that the guy died from the stabbing and he didn't care. This is something that's, like I said, two-faced coin. Bruh. This is something that's just in the air. I don't know. Yeah. My listeners, y'all tell me what y'all think. But it seemed like it was something that happened real quick. And maybe this guy didn't even know he had uh, a warrant, a murder charge sitting over his head. Maybe he didn't know. Or maybe he did. Maybe he did. I mean, because maybe he did. The reason why I don't really think he did, or uh, maybe maybe he did, and I mean Ed, you bring up a good point because it was gang related, and that's understandable. But what happened if you just ran into this guy and he was just from, you know, because they don't mention the gangs in either report. They don't mention which gangs they that they were from, if they were from rival gangs or not, or uh, uh, if this person knew this person. They don't even know if they're brothers or not. 
You know what I mean? They don't even know that. Bruh. And I'm just keeping it on it. So, it's a, uh, further information is found out on this story. We have to base it off what we have at this time. And that is what we have at this time. You know, but again, smoking cigarettes in the subway. Bruh. Bruh, bruh. This bad move. Just completely a bad move. And that's what set it off. But we're glad that this man is caught and he's off the streets. So let's be glad about that. Because you got to think, you got to really think about this. This man has been traveling around for about the last year, year and a half or whatever. So they got many people that he passed within that time. Think how many people have walked past a murderer within that time. Whether the murderer knew it or not. Think about that. That's so crazy to think about, right? Bruh. Yeah. Bruh. It is. All right. And um, that's my view and that's my opinion on. Uh, no, matter of fact, I'm not even done because I, I this is what I want. Uh, I have another question real quick. Uh, a matter of fact, I don't, I don't even have a question. I, I just want to read something real quick. I want to read uh, one of the comments uh, from this. So, uh, Someone said, you think that someone wanted for murder wouldn't draw attention to himself by smoking a cigarette in the subway. And that's what I'm saying. But the, And that's what I'm saying. This is where I have that question, okay? This is where that question comes up as if this man even knew that he was wanted for murder. Bruh. I'm just saying, he could have, he couldn't have, but if I'm wanting for murder and I know I'm wanting for murder and I'm running and I'm on the run and I'm hiding and I'm just saying, not me personally, let me take that back, not me personally, <clears throat> let me clear that up, but I'm just saying, just in common sense, if you're going through that situation or something like that, a uh, majority of the people that uh, go through that situation. They're trying. They're not trying to do anything to bring attention to themselves. I mean, that's just common sense. Like, why would you set yourself up like that? Or at least I think that's common sense. Of why would you set yourself up? Like that? You understand what I'm saying? Why would you do that? It's just. <sighs> that deep breath. Bruh. Yes. Bruh. Yes. All right. Um, that's my view and that's my opinion for this episode. All right. Listen, I want to thank all my listeners for tuning in. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you are here with me. And I so, so appreciate that. Also, stay blessed and not stressed. Until next episode, I'll check y'all later. Peace out. I'll see y'all later.